Yeah. I, know, I saw it's on Reddit. Girl Scouts and it has a serial killer vibe. Really weird. <laughs> The Ted Cruz effect. Yeah. He does have kind of a strange air about him, although I feel like he puts things in more um, diplomatic terms, I guess, than a lot of them. Like, he seems to really be trying to reach out to the middle America thing. He seems okay. I mean, I don't specifically dislike him. I think he'd be a good VP candidate. I think, uh, oh God. um, the, um, well, obviously, Tulsi Gabbard is, uh, she's fairly different. She's the, I guess, quote, conservative one. Like, I'm not think I haven't been thinking too much, too hard about it, I guess. Well, Kamala Harris. <laughs> yeah. See, I mean, like, every so often, I mean, I, he I hear so many things from Warren that I like. I mean, I like a lot of things. I mean, I think... Just overall, she's, I mean, obviously Bernie was, you know, Bernie is. Bernie Bros. Bernie's good. Bernie's yeah, Bernie, because you're a Bernie Bros. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie is good, Bernie is wise. Um, but, I don't know, I mean, I do like uh, Tulsi Gabbard, I just don't know whether she's going to, you know, like, I don't know. Lots of people really hate her, so. But she is really progressive, too. But not like in a stupid way either. Michael Bennett 2020, Senator Slams quote idiotic DNC rules that kept him out of Democratic debate. Of course, good old Biden is, uh... Biden, his time. <laughs> well, I mean, he's obviously been selected already by the DNC, so he's gonna be the of course. Right. Wait, so just really... It's really, like, in a way, I keep thinking, I'm like, you know, when you think, when you remember that Biden is there, as in the race, it, it just becomes kind of like a anybody but Biden kind of thing. Yeah. I can't believe that after 2016, the BNC is going to do the exact same thing again. Yeah, like, here's our milk toast, boring, you know, old white person, just nobody that no one likes. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> this is not like well, a, well, this mind is mind not though. like I say it's not like a Reagan Bush, right? Where like you know Bush one was you no know, Reagan's third term or really Reagan's second term was Bush's first term or whatever, you know, do like basic continuation the same stuff for another, you know, twelve year term basically. You know, the same way that like you know, apparently it's fantasy built around Obama. But they're like, oh, Obama's the greatest president ever. No scandals, blah, 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 blah. So let's like his DP. Yeah, it'll be the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Just kind of flail about. Oh, what blows, you know, what blows my mind about it is, like, I look up the polling, which I don't know whether these, I don't know how these polls are conducted, but, like, on good old real clear politics. Well, some of the, one of the things that showed said there was a, 
that Warren was actually in the lead. But their average here has Biden at plus six. With, let's see, 29.4%. How have I been to Warren at 23.4%, Sanders at 15.4%, Buttigieg at 5.6%, and then, yeah, a bunch of the others. Which blows my mind, like, just, if these are polls, they're polling people, voters, primary voters. Well, well Democratic in primary general. voters. I guess, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, the polls, like, you know, immediately. Yeah, true, right? So they just go to some place where, you know, we're talking about creating some shit, but there's just heavy Biden bias, and they're like, oh, we surveyed, you know, 1,000 people, so... We oh, called exactly. a bunch of people on landlines and, you know, retirement <laughs> yeah. communities yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah, right. Just Abuses like, statistics. Like, <laughs> yeah. I can't think of anyone who, yeah. like, wants by you know yeah it's like you know people who are actual like you know socialists and whatnot whatever get bernie and then people who are like tech pros and whatnot yang and then the people who are like basically everyone else was born <laughs> yeah yeah i mean like I think the only ones who, in my mind, can compete with my dislike of Biden... I mean, in a way, it's like... It, it's not even so much necessarily like... I mean, well, not that he would be catastrophic or anything, but... It's just he's such old news. I mean, that in itself is, you know... Basically enough, but also just the moderate, centrist you know, neoliberal, whatever, stay the course, let's have another eight years of Obama. No, no thank you. That's not going to, that's not going to cut it. But, well, anyways, the only people in my mind who I dislike roughly as much as him, well, I really dislike Castro. He is garbage, in my opinion. Um, yeah, or... Julian Ca Castro. Oh, who the fuck is that? He's, oh, so, he's so smarmy. He's just one of the minor candidates. Polling at 0.8% here. Um, and Cory Booker, obviously, is a phony. I call, I call me Holden Caulfield because he's a phony. Um, yeah, and obviously Harris has her... Uh, like, it was so funny when Tulsi Gabbard destroyed her, <laughs> destroyed her record, like, as a prosecutor. It was... That was pretty great. I don't know if you saw that. I did not. I was like, mm. I think that was the that was the debate before the most recent one.
Stupid early tomorrow. Stupid early tomorrow. <laughs> Damn. Never fought. This is just the uh... <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> in Tulsi Gamers has something, there's like massive cheering to the spot, whatever. And then fucking Kamal Harris is like, says something, I reform, blah 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 blah, blah. and there's like really one dude clapping. <laughs> <laughs> I the other comments is hilarious. No one knows how to roast a pig like, oh, I am good, we'll see. <laughs> I feel like the moderator should have the power to like turn off a mic. Yeah. Cause it's, you know, I mean obviously they have something to say in the middle sentence, I don't think. Alright, time's up, stop. But like, you know, when they're like, alright, alright, thank you, thank you, and they keep going off, run on sentence, run on sentence, and it's like, good, alright, shut the fuck up. Yeah, they should just be able to just cut off their mic at that point. I guess Michael Bennett. I've never heard so many things before. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh yeah, Marianne Williamson. <laughs> The funny thing was when she, a few of the things she said in one of those debates was actually like, you know, not bad. The, the who what? Debates. Oh, Remember in right. sophomore year when we had to do fucking Miss Miller's class on debates? Which is, you know, debate the pros and cons of some shit, whatever. It was like a, you know, a little debate tournament thing. Yeah. yeah, kind of. Vaguely, I remember that. I remember it being stupid. Yeah. See, so I, I was like, in the round, I was against Angela Adams, and it was like, computers are obscure TVs, something like that. And I was like, this is easy. Obviously, you know, because, <laughs> you know, I'm going to win. My classmates are, you know, my same age, or millennials, so like, you know. Yeah. Okay, here's point, 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 you know. Like, so, you so use your TV as a monitor, and then you have all the advantages of having a TV feeder, and so there, yeah, and this and this and that, the other thing, and I ask points, and then she just said a bunch of bullshit, like, oh, it's, it's easier, it's faster, it's bigger, it's whatever, blah, like, oh, okay, no. <laughs> she basically like, just, like, like gish gallop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's basically, yeah. Yeah, just get scalp or just like chopping up points into like tiny little like, you know, phrases for like, instead of saying, yeah, it's more convenient. It's like, okay, maybe, but then like, it's faster. Like, okay, you know, yeah, plugging it in. Like, all, all you're saying is, you can, 
you plug it in, hey, you're done. Versus this computer, you, it's the same thing, honestly, you're probably pre-built. Yeah, you get it, you plug it in, you're done. You know, <laughs> you don't have to rerun or anything. But, uh, yeah, it basically just gets out the way, and I was like, oh, this is dumb. <laughs> you know, yeah. and, like, the, and, of course, the uh, rest of the classmates don't care that much. They're just sitting there, okay, telling dumb things, and even when I say, like, Arrow, everything you just said is an opinion, you know, none of that is actual, like, factual statements. You know, then no one, like, erases all the points they gave, they just, oh, okay, well, you know, just, well, well. <laughs> yeah, so get scalp is the way to win that shit, especially because there's no, like, on-stage fact check. But even now, yeah, you know, debates where it's just like, when there's, like, you know, ten people are trying to debate some shit, and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh, just that any any use of the term debate in American politics is basically just complete complete abuse of terminology. It's just bullshit. Are you or bullshit? Like it's not a debate in any meaningful sense. It's just argument, but uh, <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, in the end, I guess I mean there should be some debate, at least in the end, between a few people.